Hello everyone, my name is Chief Lanless and I'm back once again bringing you guys some more Halo 4 news and information. This time we have the official launch trailer for Halo 4 which was actually aired on Jimmy Fallon's late night talk show not that long ago. This one is actually entitled Scan so it makes me believe that there may be more official launch trailers further down the road um, in the days to come before the November 6th launch date. Now I'm going to let you guys watch this trailer and then describe a few things afterwards so that this way you can watch the trailer and if you don't want any spoilers or discussions about it you can leave right then and there or you can stick around and we can talk a little bit about the trailer but this one is described as master chief's mind is violated by a powerful new enemy who in searching for chief's weaknesses finds the source of his strength so i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll be back shortly Alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the trailer. For those who want to avoid spoilers and actually diving on in and discussing the contents within this trailer, I suggest that you leave now as we're just going to start discussing it, or I am rather. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more Halo 4 stuff on my channel. Check out some other videos as well. But let's get right on into the discussion here. Now right from the beginning here, we get to see that Master Chief is actually being suspended out of his you know free will here. And actually he's being approached by a new enemy as they've listed and we all can generally assume that this is the didact you know this forerunner being who is actually scanning him trying to figure out a way to basically uh, probably essentially defeat master chief as the description of the trailer says to find his weaknesses and find his strength and in doing so master chief sort of has a bit of a flashback and he goes back in time to when he was a child playing on the beach there you can see some sort of comparison what is believed to be his mother there on the beach to cortana i guess that's why there's such a strong connection between the two and especially we'll probably get to dive into that in, in the campaign and storyline also during this trailer we get to see the controversial process that is within the spartan program and we get to see the child swapping from the home which seems to be and then the obviously the augmentation the human manipulation to build these super soldiers and what they had to endure and go through which just seems absolutely ridiculous and that is why it almost seems like master chief himself has no personality especially compared to cortana who is an artificial intelligence who seems to have more personality than master chief it's just a, a unique look back in the creation of master chief or john Alrighty guys, I want to point you guys' attention to this scene here. As you can see, we're in a room here with other subjects, which are presumably other Spartans out there. And on the intercom there, they actually say 058, and this woman steps on forward through the doorway. 
Now, 058 is the service tag of Linda, a very popular Spartan from Master Chief's generation. She's actually described as the lone wolf and the sniper, and actually she's generally considered considered as one of the few surviving Spartans out there. For those who do not know, a Spartan is never listed as killed. They're always listed as missing in action, but she's one of the few believed to be still alive right out there. So you never know. Maybe this is sort of a hint, sort of like an Easter egg type thing. Maybe we'll see a bit of Linda perhaps in Halo 4, or more likely what I'm thinking, we may see the likes of her potentially in Halo 5 and Halo 6. Alrighty guys, that is it for me this time around. I hope you guys enjoyed this little trailer breakdown analysis. I hope to see more of these trailers out there like this. They filmed this in an amazing way. Kind of remind me a little bit of the movie 300 where it's a little noir-esque. And especially this cliffside scene and a kick-ass Spartan. I guess, you know, a little bit of a relation there. Just kicking ass here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave me guys your thoughts on what do you think of the possibility of Linda being another Spartan still alive out there. And maybe making an appearance in the, later on in this 343 Industries trilogy. Hope to see you guys around on my channel in the days to come. Leave a like, leave a favorite if you want. Subscribe to stay up to date on the content on my channel. And I apologize for a little bit of the break there. I want nothing more than to have a great relationship with Microsoft 343 alongside my network with Yosh and Fullscreen. So my name is Chief Lalas, and I'm signing out.